Bariatric Embolization for Weight Reduction Morbidly obese people shed major pounds. An interventional radiology technique shows promise for helping morbidly obese patients to lose weight. The percutaneous procedure is known as bariatric or gastric artery embolization. Bariatric embolization is a promising treatment for obesity. It has the potential to provide as much weight loss as seen in standard gastric surgery. A 50 pounds weight reduction seen in a woman who was carrying about 100 pounds of excess weight. Gastric artery embolization has been done for decades by interventional radiologists to stop bleeding in emergency situations, but the idea of performing the same procedure as a means of treating obesity is new. Mubin said, MD, of Dayton Interventional Radiology in Ohio presented the preliminary results of the study at the annual meeting of the Radiological Society of North America on December 1, 2015. Bariatric or gastric artery embolization can be performed on an outpatient basis. The left gastric artery embolization through a catheter-based system produce up to 50% reductions in excess weight. This won't harm the stomach because the organ has a rich collateral blood supply. The procedure is done by a minimally invasive non-surgical technique, through a small catheter inserted in the wrist or groin. Embolization is performed by injecting microscopic beads into the bloodstream. The beads make their way to the artery, and block the smaller vessels. Procedure takes about one hour to complete. Patients can go home after a short in-clinic recovery time, of about four hours. Rising levels of ghrelin, the hunger hormone is the reason that people have trouble sticking with a diet. Gastric artery embolization suppresses the production of the hormone ghrelin, reducing the appetite. Criteria for choosing for bariatric embolization, obese patients with a body mass index greater than 40 kg per square meter who are otherwise healthy can undergo this procedure. Eligible patients should be 22 to 65 age group and weigh less than 400 pounds. Patients must also have failed previous attempts at weight loss through diet, exercise, and behavior modification. There were no major adverse effects reported, stomach ulcerations occurred in three patients, but resolved completely. The long-term risks and results of bariatric embolization are not yet known, this require further research. Till then bariatric surgery remains the standard of care in the morbidly obese patients if diet and exercise fails. Thanks for watching. Please click the link in description for more information.